We have been starved of substantial gains. We have been starved of a bull run. We have been starved in general. But over the last week, we have been eating. We've been feasting this last week and all the gains. And it's all come from stuff that we've been talking about on the channel for the last two, three, four weeks. It has come from Elon Musk's involvement with Donald Trump. We knew, we knew that Elon Musk was going to substantially swing things in Donald Trump's favour. And then when Donald Trump went on to Joe Rogan and Harris said, I can't do it, done. It was over. And on that news, we knew to jump on the S&P. We were already balls deep in Bitcoin and we were already balls deep in Tesla. I'm actually going to do two videos today. This one is going to be predominantly about Bitcoin and the next one will be predominantly about Tesla. That way, you don't have to listen to me ramble on for 10 minutes. Two short five minute videos. So let's talk about Bitcoin first. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. We've been balls deep in Bitcoin for the last four years, but over the last six months, we've been watching it very, very carefully. It obviously rocketed right up at, at March 24, and it's kind of went sideways. Um, as you can see, it's kind of went down, but really in this channel, it's kind of went sideways for that entire period. We knew that it was going to break out. We knew at 73,000, it was touching it, and it needed a catalyst. And that catalyst was the saviour Donald Trump. Whether you like him or not, and I do have my reservations, of course, I wish there were two better candidates to have picked from, but it was very obvious to me the pros that Donald Trump would bring. And one of them was Bitcoin. So now let's talk about what Trump could mean for cryptocurrency and why I was so bullish in the first place on a Donald Trump win. A Trump presidency could bring significant regulatory changes for cryptocurrency as many in the industry expect his administration to favor more permissive business friendly policies. Adam Blumberg, co-founder of Interaxis, foresees the Trump's leadership might clarify current crypto regulations with a focus on stablecoin legislation and clear classifications that make certain tokens non-securities, thereby encouraging new projects to launch without regulatory fears. One of Trump's pledges to remove Gary Glensler, the current SEC chair known for strict approach to crypto, may also signal a shift towards reduced regulatory oversight. However, Trump's involvement in the world liberty financial, his recently launched crypto venture featuring a new currency, WLFI is a ticker symbol, has raised ethical concerns. With Trump now both an influencer in the regulatory space and a crypto entrepreneur, potential conflicts of interest and market manipulation risks loom. And that is obviously the big risk here. Clearly, Donald Trump with his Donald Trump stock itself, the Truth platform, which we made huge money on. Shout out to Andy. Here's a little screenshot of his gains. Something that we knew to get out of before the election. A lot of people jumped in on the day of the election. <laughs> Bad move, guys. Buy the rumor, sell the story. Always. But this is something where Donald Trump might look to explore. Should he, will he have a, a conflict of interest? Will he be allowed not to? Well, the way I look at it is every single day, politicians are allowed to invest in companies and stocks. So why the hell wouldn't they be allowed to invest in crypto? That's where I kind of foresee it. So with the crypto space being so unregulated anyway, he could easily move this around. So I don't really foresee this being a problem. I just think the crypto is going to go to 90 to 100,000 range. I have said that for the entire year. I have been buying every dip. I have been going balls deep. I have a substantial amount of my portfolio spread across multiple crypto coins with the bulk of it being in Bitcoin. I am so bullish on it. It is unbelievable <laughs> and I'm so ready for it as well. We've been patiently waiting. It has been a great slow burn. The swing trades have been phenomenal over the last six months, but now it's time to level up. Now it's time to go and aim high for the 100. And I want it to happen before the end of the year because I have been saying it for the year that by the end of 2024, we will be close to that 100K. And by God, I think we're going to do it. Let's have a look at the charts. We can see here a buy symbols only come in, only came in on friday which is phenomenal now the rsi is overbought of course but look it's been in this territory many many times and it can still push on so i'm not really buying into that crypto goes in cycles like this where it'll stay in that area the macd still shows plenty of room we're not close to turning over or going back down or cooling off 
but I wouldn't be surprised if we got in and around the 80,000 mark, some profit take it, and maybe a bit of a sideways move. And if you strip it down to the 4 hour, we can see maybe starting to overturn now and cool off, and perhaps that is backing up what I've just said. However, on the video that we did about two weeks ago when I said this is about to explode, get in get in now and this was before even trump and all that i was talking about the weekly chart and as you can see we've moved on a bit rsi shows plenty of room up to the upside but look at this macd we have just crossed over on the macd this is only starting whether there's a day or two of setbacks cool offs or a bit of a sideways movement for a week i truly believe with every being that i have every part of my soul my heart my dreams believe that bitcoin is going to go to 90 plus thousand this side of christmas we're going to get close to the 100k i know it i can feel it i can feel it in my plums i can feel it in my loins guys it's coming and we have been starved of it we've been waiting for it and if you think it's going to come leave a comment down below do you think bitcoin is going to come to 90,000 fucking dollars this year I think it will. And I'd love to get your comments down below. Because we have been starved.